The second race of the Megan Trophy V6 Euro Cup at the Nürburgring gets underway under light drizzle. The winner of race one, Albert Costa, starts from pole position and leads as they head into the first corners, with teammate Fabian Tuna sandwiched between Gilardoni and Bass Schothorst, with Schothorst, the leader of the championship, slipping into second place. Running further back in the pack is very difficult. Kelvin Schnooks of the Netherlands started from fifth position on the grid and is working his way up. After an impact, the front end bodywork of Jerome Schotthorst's car is badly damaged, but the car is still running. As conditions deteriorate, the safety cars called out onto the track, some cars still running slicks. Rico Betterer, having led at one point, is also off the track and out of the running. The safety car remains for a number of laps to allow the field to reform. As they get back into the running, Bossy, who'd been leading due to a wise choice of wet tyres at the start, drops back. He's overtaken by Fabian Tuna. Niccolo Nalio is working his way up to the lead, having started third last and is under attack by Bas Schotthorst. Schotthorst and Coronel take Nalio at the same time, but a shot by Nalio puts Coronel out of the running. Nalio also drops back several places, leading the way clear for the championship leader Bas Schotthorst to take the victory ahead of Albert Costa. So, Bas Schotthorst, winner of race two, but quite a dramatic way to win. Yeah, it was a crazy race, I think, with the weather conditions and uh, obviously everybody went from slicks to rain tires. And, uh, yeah, it was just a crazy race. In the last lap I overtook uh, Nalio for the win and uh, yeah, I just wanted this so badly after, uh, after yesterday's uh, third place. So uh, I'm super happy. Thank you. Very happy Bas Schotthorst who takes a tough and somewhat controversial race with a not so happy Albert Costa of the Oregon team, winner of the first race in second. Meanwhile, in the team standings, TDS Racing will remain in the lead after this weekend with Oregon in second place, their team one, and Oregon team two in third. 